I want to show you bulk loading of photo galleries. Actually, here, so I've just got a photo gallery here. If I preview this website, it shows another thing. Uh, we've got much more slick photo animation effects now. Um, and so it's not just that we've got a slick zoom in and zoom out. I can drag these pages around. You can see that it's it dimmed the whole page behind. We've got a drop shadow under it, a nice rounded corner. So visually, this is really very neat. Also, I've got a slideshow that I can click next, or indeed, I can even use the cursor keys. Uh, and so we create an automatic slideshow from your gallery here. So that's much more slick. But we can also bulk load your photo gallery. So if I just go and select a whole bunch of photos, at once. Uh, that'll do. And drag and drop these over. It's asking me whether it wants to optimize the photos or not. I'm going to show you another thing. I'm saying, OK, don't optimize. So what it's done, it's just basically done them sequentially along your uh, photo gallery. Now, these are all quite high-res photos. When we produce a website, Everything is optimized down to the minimum possible size. But if I were to save this as a Zara file or a web file, so let's just go and do this. I'm going to save this document. I'm going to save it in a temp folder. It's called Fusion Page 8. Save. Uh, let's just go and have a look at how big that file was. That's 33 megabytes. So the reason that file is so large is because what I've got here are the original JPEGs loaded in here. And this can become quite a problem. If you've got a big document, this is not just web documents, but DTP documents. If you're producing really long DTP documents and you've got lots of photos, people were saying we're running out of memory. And that's because we store the original JPEG untouched in here. But we've now got a new option, which is optimize all JPEGs. And if I just select that, and it asks me some questions. I don't care about it. I just say optimize. Basically, what it now does is gone through. You can see that it's gone and it's found 10 images that need to be optimized. The website isn't affected because we know what resolution is required for the website. So it still stores the necessary resolution. But if I now go and save this file, in fact, I just need to go and do a save there. Right, saved. Let's go and have a look at that file. Fusion page 8. So it's now 600K. So that 33 megabyte file has now been optimized all the way down to 600K. So it makes dramatic space savings, especially on long documents if you've got loads and loads of photos in photo galleries or on DTP documents where you're loading lots of photos. So you could have done that manually before, but now that's just a simple single menu option to go through and optimize everything in one go. And it's intelligent. It knows for each photo, how big it is on the page, and whether it's got a pop-up or not, and how big the pop-up is, and it takes it all into account and produce, and it optimizes it down to the minimum size that it can get away with.